Good morning, your life. Hey, bring the grip. <laughs> Good morning, PM. How are you? I'm fine. I'm, I'm here in Miami. Are oh, you in Miami? Do you have the lead of the opposition on still? Yes, he is on. All right. I'm very happy for that. No, I haven't heard your program, but somebody texted me and told me that he said that the Constitution directs that the IADC submit its accounts to Parliament. Is that what he said? Is that what you said, Dr. Friday? Absolutely. That is not what I said. The Constitution doesn't refer to the IADC. What I okay, said what is the that Constitution? The, the cons- section you read, the, the, the Constitu- does it deal with the Director of Audit Report? Yes. Well, that's the point, Florine. When you spoke at your press conference, you said that the IADC is a statutory corporation and that it must submit its audited accounts to the parliament and that you further said that no such audited accounts were done and submitted to parliament since the IADC was formed in 19 in 2004 and my point always is that you are wrong and you must admit that you are wrong the IADC is a state-owned company incorporated under the company's act and that the place for submission of the accounts is the company's registry at the Commerce and Intellectual Property Office. So you were saying then that, that the, audited, the audited statements of the IADC are at the Commercial and Intellectual Property Office? I have said that up to 2013. The audited statements are there? Up to 2013. And that 2014 and 2015 are in draft. And the auditor, Floyd Patterson, has said that they will be ready by June, July, and 2016 will follow shortly. That's the point I've been making all along. So then there, is no, there is no responsibility for the IADC spending to be accounted for in the Parliament of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. No, that's a different question. Well, that is, the per- different but that is ultimately that's what we're saying. What we're no, saying no, 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 no. Let's not talk about well, you, are splitting, you are splitting here. Louis, about Louis. About the name of one entity or another. Just listen to me. You have been fooling the people by telling a falsehood. This morning, you referred to the Constitution. I I am not fooling anybody. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Could you you give Dr. Fred a chance? I have a limited time in the program here. Being invited me on the program, you're the one who... No, 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 no. Prime Minister, just give me a chance to respond to you, please. I'm confronting you with your falsehood. What is referred to the Constitution is the report of the Director of Audit on the Central Government's operations. Okay. There's a regime for statutory bodies which they must be submitted to Parliament, and we do that. Yes, and it also and says that the Director of Audit must satisfy herself how the funds appropriated by Parliament are spent. Yes, that is also but that's, so that it, that yes. how would you do that without an audit? No, 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 but the, the audit, you don't understand. You want to tell me you're so ignorant about things that you don't well, understand. You could, you, you could, you could use as many insults as you want. You, you use wait, 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 the wait, point wait, of the matter wait, is, you know wait. that you come to Parliament to borrow the money and you have to come back to Parliament to report on how you spend it. That's all I'm saying. You Listen, call it, you call I, it whatever you want, dance on the head of a pin about whether it's a statutory no, 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 body no, 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 no. or said, a company or a private but company. Have, but you created a private entity. But I have support. I have. Prov- I have provided the information to Parliament repeatedly. You have provided. it, have But we want it. We want the director about it because that is who has to be satisfied in the constitution. Yes, not you. But the, but 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 Lorraine, that's not what you said. You know, you said in your press conference that the IADC is a statutory corporation, which it is not. So you get fixated and you in the labels. The, the point of the matter is the, 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 the requirement. Well, why are you the question? What you question? You are ducking me. the question about why it is that you can come to Parliament to obtain hundreds of millions of dollars. And then you are saying you've created an entity that enables you to avoid reporting back to Parliament. No, no I'm not saying that. What, is, what else I are you saying? saying that. that I must go to SEPA and look for it? 
I when you come to Parliament, you just send me somewhere else to look for the no, information no, no, no. To, to vote for, for, but, for but your friends I in Parliament? I am saying to you, just like Vinlek. Vinlek a council of lead in Parliament. It's a state company. Prime Minister, do, 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 do you agree that do you agree, Prime Minister, that the information should be made available to the opposition? But tell me it's a, not only to the opposition, but to the public to the and parliament. It is there and the for director you to get. audit. The responsibility is the director of audit. You talked about it in the National Lotteries Act when you were debating it in Parliament. That no but, friend friend appointment of auditors should but, be allowed, but, especially when you know you're dealing with hundreds of millions of dollars. But, but, Where is the Petrocarib report? Has Petrocarib funds been reported? Just to the, accept. Have Petrocarib... Just accept that you are wrong. Uh, you are wrong. And you, Prime Minister, are wrong to no, suggest no, 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 that no. you do not have to report to the Parliament about I the use of funds. That. Well, I that is that, that, that is the point we're making. You are dancing no, the no, head no, of the pit. That is the point that we're making. The point you made... The point is you have to come to Parliament... And if you don't come to the Parliament, you, made, no, you no, are no, no, avoiding no, no. the constitutional requirement. No, 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 no. I'm not. The director of audit report, the director submitted the report on an ongoing basis. I have submitted the director of audit report as required. So why, 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 why is it that you create... If you say, if you are right, that you have created a private company, so, so to speak, under the IADC, why would you channel hundreds of millions of dollars of public funds that are voted in the Parliament to a private entity that is not accountable to Parliament. That it, is what you're saying. It's not, it's not a private company. It's, 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 it's a company Florian, created. You Florian, said it's, Florian, it's, Florian. it's not a private company. The IATC, the IATC is a wholly owned state company. It's, whole, the, it's owned by a public act. entity, but when you say private companies under the, 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 the CIPO, it's a company created under the Companies Act according to you. Yes. Well, why would you create, and, it, and you said that it does not have to report to Parliament. I did not say that. It doesn't have, it, so it has to report to Parliament. It audited, you're talking because that about is what the we're saying. report. The audited the report, audited yes. The audited report, the audited report, I mean, I don't understand you make such a basic error, and you don't want to admit it. Let, insults ain't going to make any difference. The point is, just address the I'm issue. I'm not insulting. Yes. Oh, oh, hold on, Prime you Minister. Made a mistake. No, you, you, you want me to admit to something that you find it convenient to, uh, to hold no, no, to. No, no, the point of the matter is, I insist Ming, that Section Ming, 75 Ming, of the Ming, Constitution Ming, requires Ming, that public Ming. funds that are voted in Parliament hold on, hold on, hold on. must be accounted for. And you're not but doing Ming. that when you say that we have to go to Super to find the information. Dr. Fred, hold on. Prime Minister, could you hold on for me, please? Okay. Now, yes. I've got persons in the studio who came with Dr. Fred who are saying this is unfair, that you shouldn't be calling in. All right. I think it is important because both Why sides. Why should I? Put, 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 hold on, hold on, Doc. Hold on, hold on, Prime Minister. Both sides are making charges. I want to give Dr. Fred a chance to respond to you saying that it is not, you don't have to do it. And I want to give you a chance to respond to what Dr. Friday is saying. I think it is important as host of the program. I didn't know you were calling. I think that it is important to have this dialogue be done. We're not... So no, no, no. You know I was calling because I sent messages. No, you to sent a message calling. just now right before you called. Right before you right, called. Right. A message came in. But if you didn't want... No, no, if you didn't want me to come on. No, no, you no. You could have said you want me to no, come on. But, but it is being said that I set this up. I had, n I had no knowledge that this was going to happen. Absolutely. I did not set up anything. Oh, that's true. The point of the matter but is, the point is this thing. I, 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 I want to go I back to the, the ultimate. Wait, I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking now. But the point is, we have ultimately a requirement. If you are saying that you do not have to report back to Parliament because you put funds in a private, in a company that is incorporated under the Companies Act, that you're not then required to report to Parliament. The question is, why was that done, and why is it that we should accept? that the Constitution, which is the paramount law of the country, does not require that you report those funds that are used by the IADC back in the Parliament in the way that is expected to ensure that the accountability is credible. And that is under the supervision of the Director of Audit. Okay, Prime Minister, can okay. you respond to that, please? Okay. Now, first of all, when we, give, when we approve monies for the IADC, in Parliament, I have to go there either with estimates, supplementary estimate, an appropriation bill, or supplementary appropriation bill. Any such monies appropriated by Parliament 
for the IADC, the director of audit reports on that in the report of the director of audit. That is in relation to section 75, 76 that Friday was speaking about, that Lorraine was speaking about. That's a separate question from the matter which he raised that the accounts of IADC, which is a statutory corporation, he said, that those accounts should be audited and submitted to Parliament. And I'm saying the reports of the Director of Audit in relation to money appropriated by Parliament for the IADC are reported upon by the Director of Audit. That's one. But what Friday was asking about for the accounts of the IADC to be put in Parliament, the total accounts that was appropriated by Parliament, that that must be done because it's a statutory body. And I say it's not a statutory well, body. Let me, let's go to the, the ultimate way, question. I am finishing. I'm finishing. And that statutory body, that it's not a statutory body, it's a company incorporated under the Companies Act. And there are rigorous requirements for submissions of accounts and reports. I am the master of demanding account- accountability. I am the one who, who piloted the Finance Administration Bill when Friday and the others in the opposition didn't come to Parliament. I am the one who piloted the, um, the new Audit Act to strengthen the powers of the Director of Audit. I did all that, you know, to strengthen the accountancy, the, the accounting and transparency. But Lorraine Friday made an error, and he must accept it. And you are the that one who created the IADC and now says it doesn't have to report to Parliament for I hundreds of millions... I did not say that. You did not say the IADC is required to report to Parliament. Everybody is required to report to Parliament in relation to money is appropriated by Parliament. And we do that on an ongoing basis. But you are talking about the... Well, we have never seen any report from the IADC come to Parliament. You are saying that the accounts of the IADC must be submitted to Parliament. And I'm saying, because it's a statutory body... I'm saying A, it is not statutory body, therefore you're wrong on that. And B, the audited accounts of the IADC are submitted through the company's registrar at SIPO, which has a rigorous regime for submission. And who, and, 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 and and who, appoint, who appoints, who appoints, who appoints the, who appoints the auditors? The money is appropriated by Parliament. Who appoints the auditors? For the airport. The money is appointed, the money is appropriated by parliament for the airport those monies are reported upon naturally to the accounts of the director of audit which reports are submitted to parliament yes and the, your, your but the accounts of the iadc itself are submitted under the company's act to and, and they don't come and they don't come to parliament the, the, so you're spending so hundreds of millions of dollars of public money and you're saying you created Lorraine, a device you being, that requires it you, not you, to come to Parliament. You created no, the IADC. No, you are Why not. would you make it so that you don't have to account to Parliament if you think you are right in your interpretation? No, no, no. It's you not created right in it. It's a legal fact. But you created it's that a, legal fact if it is a fact. fact. You created it. You created the but IADC and now you're saying the no, IADC will spend the money it's and they don't have to report issue. to Parliament. Why would you do that? It's a, the separate issue. That is the point. That is what people are concerned about. Why would you do it that, that way? It shouldn't be. No. But you made. So if you, you had made, create, Okay you know, then. So if the IADC, if you had created, assuming that you are correct, if you had created the IADC as a statutory body, they would have to bring their reports to Parliament. Yeah, right? Their accounts should have had to be submitted to, to Parliament, Parliament directly. But you chose to create yes. it as a private, as a company no, under CEPO. Why? No, but it, that but is the point, question because it avoids accountability. Point, Prime Minister, can I ask you a question? No, can I no. ask you a question, Prime Minister? Uh, yes. and, and it's a follow up to what Dr. Friday said. Why did why why move towards a company instead of a statutory organization? There are some entities like Vinlec. Vinlec, for instance, is a company rather than a statutory body. There are some entities, the job which they have to do, it is just better suited to be done under the Companies Act. You want to tell me that Vinlec is not accountable? Vinlec is accountable because it's a counter submitted.
disciples. But, but why IDC? Why wasn't I, given the nature and the magnitude well, no, of that project? The nature, IDC the nature is not a business. IADC. All the money they get, they get from Parliament. They don't, they don't do like listen, like where they collect money. Listen to me. Listen to me. The IADC, IADC is not a business. The I look. The IADC. The very nature of constructing the airport has to be nimble. What do you mean? Had to move nimble within the framework of the Companies Act. But accounting is done. Look, when I go, when I want to borrow money for the IABC, I have to come to Parliament, and it's that money which is reported upon by the Director of Audit, which is a separate reportage than the reportage that they do for that the IABC does for its overall accounts. Under the Companies Act, and who appoints the auditors of the IADC? Does the Director of Audit do that? The Director of Audit, I would expect to be consulted. What do you mean, under you the Act? Who, who, make, you ought to know who that. makes the ultimate decision to, to appoint auditors? Well, the Director of Audit can say, "I want John Brown," or they could accept that John Brown is the is the company to be appointed. Hmm. Was it deliberate no. to, to set up IDAC as a company as opposed to a statutory organization? Yes, because it's a, you know, in fact, as I'm saying, it's a, it's a, it's a nimble operation. A lot of properties were put in IADC, you know. Lands were put in IADC. So that IADC can sell lands. IADC also transferred lands to national properties. So that national properties will sell them on behalf of IADC in order to raise monies. And all that is accounted for. But the monies which we appropriate in Parliament, those monies are accounted for through the, the normal process in Parliament and also in relation to the submission of the accounts of the director of oh, by the normal process in, in parliament we have no idea how the iadc money is spent so well, because well you know you, it's you, amazing you, that you, you have that. created you you have created but, an entity but, but, but that Claire, does not have any audited come. statements that come to to, to, to the to the to the uh, report that comes to the parliament and you can't even guarantee no, that the director of audit is responsible in appointing auditors for the iadc Bing, you know what I want you to show how dissembling Friday is on this? I want you to get the press. I want you to get the transcript of his press conference. And you will see what he said. But he's right here. He, said that, from IADC, he, said. he said that IADC is a statutory corporation. And it never submitted any accounts to Parliament. Now you're dancing on the head of a pin. So carry on. I'm the not dancing on the head the, of the, a pin. The, the, uh, the you ultimate, made, the you ultimate question legal. is that you <laughs> created an entity that you say doesn't have to report on how it spent money that Parliament votes. No, 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 no. That I is what that. ultimately you're I saying because that. you don't have to come back to Parliament so wait, with wait, audited wait, wait, statements. Wait, wait, wait. So you want to tell me that in relation to Vimlek, I am not answerable to Parliament in relation to Vinlek. I'm answerable to Parliament in relation to Vinlek, but Vinlek's accounts are submitted to the to SIPO, to the company's registry. But what you did, you made an error in but fact. Here's the deal. You law. have Petrocarib money coming into the country with didn't come into the consolidated fund. On the two companies that were created that haven't filed any financial statements with the the um, CIPO, and some of those monies were then used in the Argyle project that went to IADC. So you have two entities here that are not yeah. accountable for the funds that were passing no, through them that's, 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 in the that's, Parliament that's, 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 and through the Director of Audit. That's that's not that's that's not true. Is it? Petrocarib, the, the Petro -Carib, um, PDV, SVG, Big. and Petrocarib Limited, they have no financial statements at SIPO. Let me explain Let me explain to you what happened with Petrocarib. Petrocarib, there is no money which Petrocarib provides to IADC, which is not reflected in the Parliament. You look in the debt profile. You look into the debt profile of the central government and you will see on the Petrocarib on the monies owed by IADC you have a mon monies there from Petrocarib you will see that 
inside of the 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 lifting of the debt. If you want to know what the, that situation was up to September last year, you look in the estimates and you'll find that it's there. Well. Prime Minister, I'm sure you can get an opportunity to come on and bing, but I have to... Um, yes. um, yeah. Prime Minister, no, I want you to... You, 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 